Hello and welcome to Pendulum Dowsing and Tarot Reading with Lyman Holton. I'm going to do a tarot reading for your zodiac sign for the month of August 2022. Are you ready? Let's get going. The first thing I'm going to do is open up my cloth that covers the pendulum, set my crystal pendulum off to the side that I like to keep on top of the cards. Okay, set the cloth off to the side here and we're all set. This tarot card reading is for people born under the zodiac sign of Gemini for the month of August 2022. Their birth dates range from May 21st through June 20th. The strengths associated with Gemini are gentle, affectionate, curious, adaptable, ability to learn quickly and exchange ideas. The weaknesses, nervous, inconsistent, and indecisive. Now, don't get too wound up over the strengths and weaknesses. Some, none, or all may pertain to you. Only you know which is which. Now, let's get on with cutting and shuffling the deck for the reading. Three times. One cut, and here's one shuffle. Here's the second cut in the second shuffle. You got the third cut, and we've got the third shuffle. Oops. Oh, there we go. Now with my left hand, because that's associated with the right hemisphere of the brain, I will and that's the intuitive side of the brain. I will spread the cards into a fan and randomly select three cards with my left hand. And the first card is right here. It's one, we've got two, and we're gonna go with three. I put the deck back together to set it off to the side in case we need to draw from it again. Right next to my lovely pendulum. Bring the three cards down to the center. And the first card represents what you need to let go of as a Gemini for the month of August 2022. Okay, and that card happens to be death. Now, I'm going to turn over the other two and then I'll come back and I'll talk about the position of each card and the card themselves and how they affect this reading in regards to you for August. The second card, what you need to know as a Taurus for August. And that is the card of justice. Ah, so we've got two major arcana cards. There's only 22 in a deck, so that's a little bit unusual. Number three represents upcoming opportunity for you for August. And that is the Fool. Now, let me tell you, this is pretty exciting for me. I have never had three major arcana cards come up in a three card spread like this. So, this is going to be interesting. Now, as I said, the first card represents what you need to let go of. So let's talk about the death card. The death card represents transformation, change, ending, decay, rebirth, renewal, hope, and transition. The card shows a skeleton clad in black armor atop a white horse. Three people beg to be spared by death, but death is inevitable. Death, in this instance, should not be literally taken as the end of life. 
It signifies the end of a cycle and beginning of a new one. It indicates transformation of the individual to a new state of being. Because this card is in the position of what to let go of, put the brakes on your transition. This is not the right time for you to transition. The end of something, the beginning of something, right? A new cycle. Hold it back. S September is going to roll around soon and we can reassess things then. But for August, you've got other things going on. So keep that in mind for what to let go of. Now, the next card, Justice, it represents what you need to know. But first, I'm going to adjust the camera so you have a nice close-up view. Now, Justice represents what you need to know for the month of August. The Justice card is Justice. Karmic balancing, truth, law, order, verdict, impartial, and balance. Justice is simply the representation of fairness and balance. It reminds us that we are always responsible for our actions and that there are consequences for everything. Justice also represents truth. It encourages finding truth through facts and by being thorough. Do not be too hasty to deal out judgment before knowing the full truth. And that's what you need to know. So here you are in a position where you could pass judgment on another. Or perhaps it's another situation that doesn't even involve people. But whatever is involved, be careful on passing judgment too hastily. So remember, it is very important to be fair. Very important. And you need to be extra cautious of that during August. Remember, you're holding back transition. You're concerned with just you're concerned with justice. The third card, upcoming opportunity, the fool. The fool represents beginning, journey, spirit, innocence, leap of faith, choice, being naive. The fool is a naive, optimistic, and carefree character. He represents the earliest stages of life or the infancy of a new phase of life. The fool still has challenges yet to come as indicated by the mountains in the background, but he doesn't worry about them. The fool encourages curiosity and an open mind. There is a great potential and opportunity. So the best thing to do is go with your gut. Now you've got this opportunity that's going to be coming up that you need to be open-minded to, wide-eyed. You're going to be into it in a rather inexperienced, perhaps naive manner. But you're going to go for it, and you're going to use your gut to get you through it, your gut feelings, right? Your intuition, we should say. Now, here you've got your justice, where you need to be very much aware, need to know that you're going to be encountering some situation where you're going to have to pass judgment. Now, perhaps that's what's going to happen that's going to work with this opportunity that will be coming up. And to deal with these things, don't worry about ending a cycle and starting a cycle. Concentrate on these right now. All right. Now, that's all I've got to say for these cards. So to double check, I'm going to take the pendulum as usual. And make sure I'm in sync with the pendulum. Show me yes. And it goes into a counterclockwise circle, which is my subconscious answering my questions. That's how it speaks to me, through the pendulum, through my ideomotor responses. Now, show me no.
And as expected, it's a clockwise circle indicating no. And let's go for the question here. And the question is, has this tarot card reading been given for Gemini for the month of August 2022 for their best? And there we have a yes. All right, that's great. Good reading. Very interesting. I had three major arcana cards here. That's, like I said, I haven't had that happen before. Now, what I'd like you to know is that I give private tarot readings and or pendulum dowsings. If you're interested in that, send me an email to lyman.holton at yahoo.com. In the email, include your question or questions and any information that you feel I should have. It could be a little, it could be a lot. You decide that. And what I will do is I will make a video of me performing this reading or dousing and I will send you a private link so you can view it. Now, what you do is you decide what it's worth to you because I don't have a set fee. I do expect to be paid, of course, but I really love doing this, so I'm not hooked on exactly how much it should be charged. So I think it's fun to let you decide what it's worth to you. So you go to my YouTube channel, and you'll see in the top right portion of the page where it says donate to my channel, and that's through PayPal. And you simply put in the amount you feel is right. It's as easy as that. It's as honest as that. Nobody can get hurt. You don't have to worry about it. I'm being as transparent as humanly possible here because I'm an honest guy doing what he likes to do. So I hope to hear from you. And that's the end of this reading. I hope this was a great tarot card reading for you and that it gives you some insight to what possibly could happen in the month of August for your Zodiac sign. So, I wish you a great month ahead. Come back and see me next month because I'll be right here waiting for you. Goodbye for now.